Oski, buddy, where are the keys? Where are the keys? Keys, 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 keys. Is it a guy art day? No, I don't think so. It's got to be a super day, right? No, nah, no, no, it's not. Well, let's be honest. I, 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 I would crash. Surely it's got to. Nope, it's not. It is not an Aventador day. Maybe the last, but certainly not the least. Of nope, 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 nope. We're not trying that either. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another perfect day here in the beautiful state of Utah. We have so many updates in today's video. I just got home here to Utah yesterday. I drove my 2020 Toyota Supra from New York City all the way back to Utah. And then tomorrow I'm driving the Supra to Monterey Car Week, Monterey, California. Yesterday I sat down with my architect version 2.0 of my supercar garage slash barn slash garage. I don't know what it is, whatever it is. Uh, I got a version 2.0 to share with you guys. And then also guys, the Jeep Gladiator. Hellcat, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. So in 10 days, I'm flying off to Michigan to drive that back to Utah. And then also, I have the keys to a C7 Corvette Stingray. I know, unexpected. <laughs> Is this my Corvette? No, 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 it's not. Does it sound good? Let's find out. That sounds okay. How do I say enough without quite saying too much? We've arrived here to JP Morgan Chase. I need to wire some money because the Toyota Supra, as it stands right now, she's just not quite girthy enough. She needs wider hips, if you will. So unfortunately, I cannot take you guys into the bank with me. It's it's bank policy. It's not that I don't want to take you. I, I'm not allowed to. So I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm, I'm sorry. It needs an exhaust. Unfortunately, we kind of sort of have some bad news regarding my C8 Corvette. I mean, it's not like the worst news in the world. It's just really, really disappointing news. But first, a word from our sponsors. I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Turo. So yes, I got the C7 Corvette Stingray off of Turo. I pre-ordered the new C8 Corvette. It's supposed to arrive in winter of 2020. And I realized I'd never even driven a Corvette before. So this seemed like the prime opportunity to see what it was all about. If you're unfamiliar with Turo, it is a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing service. They have over 850 makes and models available. Guys, it's sick. Let me explain. The variety on Turo is unbeatable. They have every single car you could ever imagine. Like they have everything and from a price standpoint, point it is way more affordable than your traditional rental car agency they even have lamborghini aventadors they have ford mustangs and guys check this out they even have a bmw Z okay so that was a bad joke they do have z4s and eventually they'll have the new supra lamborghini gallardo 399 dollars a day like you cannot beat that price turo is available in over 5500 cities across the united states canada germany the uk you can get whatever car you want whenever you want almost nearly wherever you are and did i mention turo delivers so you know when you go to the airport and you have to stand on the rental car line and it is actually the world's worst place with turo you don't have to do that because they deliver. You can access Turo on the web. You can also download their mobile app for free either on iOS or Android devices. There's also a special one-time link in the description below. Go check it out. First time users will get $15 off their first ride. Guys, I rented this C7 Corvette for $170 a day. $170 a day, like you cannot beat that price point. Guys, be sure to check out Turo, link in the description below. If there's any videos you'd like to see me film with the Corvette, let me know in the comments below. I have this car for 48 hours. We are going to swap out the Corvette for the the Focus RS. I definitely don't say this enough, but I cannot thank you guys for your long-term support, especially the OG subscribers who have stuck with me for so long. The channel the last couple weeks has just like exploded. The views, the sub growth has been insane. And so in today's video, I want to take you on a full tour of all the cars, sort of talk about what my plans are for the cars, how long I expect to keep the cars, but I haven't eaten today and it's like 2.30. So we are going to take the daily, the nitrous blue Ford Focus RS. <laughs> I never told you guys this. This has an aftermarket Borla exhaust. It sounds really good. Wait for it. It's, it's so much fun. I feel so immature driving this car, but I absolutely love it. I have a set of custom downpipes on order from South Africa. They should be here next week. And rumor is the car might spit flames. Maybe, we'll see. If I make this shot, you owe me 20 bucks. Yes. We have an old school Viper RT10. That is sick, you never see those anymore. I know a lot of people were upset when I bought this car, but it is so much fun to drive. It's just like a little go-kart. We're kind of sort of running out of garage space. Obviously the Corvette is, is here for a temporary amount of time, but yeah, we need a bigger garage. Down pipes are gonna be installed as soon as I get back from Monterey Car Week. I would love to get a carbon hood and maybe white wheels. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa. I think they would look good. Don't get triggered. We're gonna swap out the Focus RS for the Gallardo, but we have to move the Supra first. Thank you. 
There's a random lady. Whoa, jeez. Oh my gosh. There's a random lady on a horse in our neighborhood. I don't know what is going on. I don't know where I live. Do you see that jump though? I've owned the Gallardo for four years. Every single underpass ever, I have always accelerated. I have never missed one. I've never missed one. <laughs> There's just nothing like the sound of the five liter V10. It sounds so good. So I bought this car four years ago. I paid $110,000 for it. It had 9,500 miles on it. And it has 47,800. Best car I've ever owned. I will never, ever, ever sell this car as long as humanly possible. Like if I went bankrupt or I don't know, like it would be the last thing I would ever sell. It just sounds so good. The design of the Super just looks better and better and better. Buying the Gallardo is probably the craziest decision I ever made. I had 28,000 YouTube subscribers the day I picked this up from Lambo Newport Beach, and I bought this car with the idea that I could turn it into a YouTube channel. Everybody thought I was crazy, that I had completely lost it, which I guess in some ways I probably had, and I probably still have, but this car has just completely changed my life. I will never, ever, ever sell this car as long as I, I can humanly possibly keep it. As far as my plans for this car, I. I really don't have any plans, just kind of enjoy it, love it. The sentimental value of this car is just off the charts. I paid 110,000 for this. It's probably worth like 80,000, 90,000. I don't, I don't even care though. This car looks better than the day I bought it. It just has aged so well. Also the GT350, my roommate owns that. That, that is not my car. So, Supra. I bought the Supra last week in New York City, drove it back here to Utah. I put 3,500 miles on this car in less than a week. The car's been getting a lot of hate because it's on the same platform as a BMW Z4, but the car is awesome. The only rule of the Supra is you always put it in sport mode because in non-sport mode, it sounds like a hair dryer, but in sport mode, you get some pretty good crackles. It's not loud though. The car is not loud. It's a nice tone, but it could be louder. Also, look at that. Like, that is totally out of a BMW. We got the carbon fiber. This is the launch edition 304 1500. My last five videos have all featured the Super, so I'm not going to go super in depth, but at 3,552 miles, this has to be, it has to be the highest mileage Mark V Super in the world, right? Right? If not, I'm driving into California tomorrow. By the time I get home, I should have 5,000. My Aventador probably gets like nine miles to the gallon, whereas the Super gets like 34. Like, I averaged 34 miles to the gallon from New York to Utah, which is awesome. With the new window tent, the Supra looks so good. It looks like the ultimate Batmobile. That being said, we are gonna wrap it. Uh, we might wrap it purple, but we might not. Whoa, hey, whoa. We might not wrap it purple. We're gonna be getting a wide body kit. We're gonna be putting on air suspension. We're adding wheels, a bigger turbo, all sorts of stuff coming to the Supra near you. However, we're here at Maverick to get Slurpees because it's hot, it's hot, boys. <laughs> This would be quintessential views on views. Am I right, am I right? Slurpees are underrated as a snack. Like donuts get all the glory, but Slurpees honestly like, the yellow and the blue look so good together. All right, it is now Aventador time, yes. I forgot to tell you about the bad news regarding the C8 Corvette. So I ordered my Corvette. It should arrive winter of 2020. The spec is Rapid Blue, and I just found out yesterday that Rapid Blue has been delayed by 10 weeks on the production line. No, the Rapid Blue looks so good. Like, it's almost the same color as this nitrous blue. I wanted that color so bad, but I really want an early allocation. So I think I'm gonna have to drop it and either get it either white or orange. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to vote. Instagram stories, as soon as this video goes live, I'm gonna post a story, white or orange, go vote. Link in the description below. It's not blue, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Oscar! <laughs> hey, buddy! You're such a good fluff. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you gotta get some food. Food. Sit, sit, paw. Good boy. Good boy. Dig in. Go, 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 go. Eat up, son. Eat up. It's free. Oscar and I have some great news regarding the Hellcat Gladiator. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. So after Monterey Car Week, I'm flying off to Michigan, picking up the Gladiator, driving it back to Utah, and we're converting it to a 6x6. Hopefully it's done in time for SEMA, because the tentative plan is to have it and the Aventador on display at SEMA, assuming the 6x6 is done. We're kind of sort of running out of time. SEMA is the first week of November, so we have about eight weeks by the time I get it home to Utah. Uh, America's Most Wanted sent me footage of the first startup. We're going to play that footage right now, okay? Right now. What 
are you doing, bud? Are you tired? Are you tired? We gotta show them the new barn. Yeah, we gotta show them the barn. Come on, let's go, hustle. Here it is, version 2.0 of the floor plan for the new barn build. This is the main floor, the garage floor. This is the second story apartment. This section fits in right there. This is the secondary garage that I added. So the Jeep will park right there. It'll also double as a car wash bay. And then if I get a boat, if I get jet skis, if I get an enclosed trailer, I can storm right there. I spoke with my architect. We're gonna add a second garage door right there. So that if I do get a boat, I can just pull it straight in rather than having to back it in. Uh, the office right here, that whole wall is gonna be glass and it's gonna look out over the garage. And then I also added a stairwell right here that leads down to a basement to a small little gym because yeah, I, I gotta get in shape, boys. Rock climbing wall right here, laundry room there, stairwell that leads up to the second story apartment, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, kitchen, living room. We're gonna have a glass floor right here that looks down on that car. And then this whole wall, as well as the floor there in the hallway is also gonna be glass that looks down on these four cars. It's gonna look so sick, I cannot wait. So tomorrow I'm meeting with my mortgage guy to secure financing. And then as soon as I get back from Michigan with the Gladiator, I need to buy a piece of land ASAP so that construction can start. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is pretty much the final version, like a couple subtle changes here and there, but speak now or forever hold your peace because this is pretty much it. Maybe last, but certainly, certainly not least. I'm so grateful and I feel so fortunate to own this car. Growing up, all I wanted was a V12 Lamborghini. I just wanted to see a V12 Lamborghini. From the time I was born to the time I was 18, I saw one V12 Lamborghini, a Lamborghini Murcielago 40th anniversary in Bend, Oregon. That car, just like as soon as I saw it, that just became an instant dream of mine. I never thought it was possible. I never in a million years thought that I could actually own a V12 Lamborghini. I cannot thank you guys enough for your support. I don't, I don't say that enough, uh, but I just, I'm so appreciative of your support for me throughout the years. I cannot thank all the people who've helped me along the way, uh, who've given me opportunities to film their cars to all the people who smashed that like button because this is it boys this is the dream come true the Lamborghini Aventador I am convinced there is no other car in the world that gets you the feel of a hypercar at the price of a supercar and on that bombshell frequency intelligence exhaust <laughs> The 2012 Lamborghini Aventador. It's got the full 1016 Industries carbon fiber kit. It has the white Brixton forged wheels, six and a half liter V12, 700 horsepower. I get excited leading up to it. I know some of you guys are gonna be triggered by my hypercar comment. I didn't say this has the performance of a hypercar, it has the feel of a hypercar. Very, very distinct difference. Also, look at that, another underpass. The single hardest thing to capture is audio. <laughs> I wish you guys could hear this car in person. It's so good. The only issue with the Aventador is that it gets like nine miles to the gallon, but oh well. This is kind of sort of awkward. I left my wallet at home, so it's a good thing I didn't get pulled up. I mean, I was I was sub 55, boys. As far as my plans for the Aventador, we might be changing up the wrap here soon. It's still gonna be purple base, so the purple is not going anywhere. We might change up the wrap, and then also, I've been going back and forth a bunch. Do we twin turbo the Aventador? If today's video gets 5 million views and 100,000 likes, I will twin turbo the Aventador, so. Yeah, I still might, obviously that's probably not gonna happen. I still might twin turbo the Aventador, maybe. More to come. If you could have just one car, just one car in this entire lineup, which would it be in the comments below? We got the Subaru Outback, we got the Chevy Corvette C7 Stingray, we got the 2020 Toyota Supra, the Ford Focus RS, the Shelby GT350, the manual Lamborghini Gallardo, and the 2012 Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. We also have the Ford F-150 if you feel like it. Also, the Gladiator should be here. I miss the Gladiator so much. It's gonna be here soon, guys, and we are gonna recreate this photo shoot. I I think for me, I'm actually gonna choose two. Uh, so you can choose two as well because I, well I want both. So yeah, in the comments below. I need a little bit of input. Aventador is Strad. Gallardo is Strad man. The Super, what custom vanity plate should I get for it? If you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments below. It'd be cool to somehow like 
include Supra and Strad somehow. The Focus RS, I'm not gonna get a vanity plate. This is sort of like my incognito cart, if you will. And then also the Gladiator 6x6, I still need a vanity plate for that. That is going to effectively end today's video. Massive shout out to Turo. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Guys, be sure to check out that link in the description below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.